Hey guys, it's Meg. I am here this week with a new video for you. This is going to be our standard tarot reading. Um, we have a bonus reading attached on the back of that, so I'm really excited for that. Um, if you guys want to see what messages come out in the cards, I'm really happy to give it to you. Come on in, have a seat, grab a blanket and a comforting beverage or snack, and we'll get into the cards really quick here. Um, before I do, um, I'd like to uh, let you guys know that there's the like, subscribe, and the bell button. So if you want to see more from me, if you like my content, please go ahead and uh, click all of those buttons. I'm happy and grateful for the support, and I would love to have you come on back and interact with my content if you so desire. Um, I have also included links to my social media and my website in the description as well as I have listed every deck that I'm using for this reading. So if you guys want to get in touch with me or see more about the supplies I'm using, I would be more than happy to have you uh, go down there and have a look. So let's get started with an oracle reading. Um, first card I have for you is attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. I also have intention, okay? I have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, um, and this can indicate deep healing, okay? I also have journey, and I have phantom quartz embrace change. So this is interesting because right off the bat, um, I'm seeing there is some change here, and it's not necessarily change around you, although nothing in this life is static, right? Um, these changes are happening very deep within you. This could be um, you reaching out to your shadow sides, um, doing the work to heal, and with that healing is going to come a lot of change. That's not comfortable. I'm going to raise my hand to this because I'm not the kind of person that does well in changing situations, okay? The thing is um, that you've been in situations where you've needed help, and maybe you haven't been processing the emotions that have come from this situation very well, okay? This is, um, I don't want to say it's normal, but you are you are a human being. If this if this is resonating with you right off the bat, keep in mind you're only a human being, and you can only process so much. You can only handle so much at once. If you know, I heard it. Now let me let me give you an example here. Um, my mother passed away when I was young, and I kept hearing this message. Well, God doesn't give you more than you can handle. Spirit doesn't give you more than you can handle. Spirit gives you learning experiences, blah, blah, blah. At the time, I didn't know what that meant, okay? Because those changes, the change that I had in my family situation was insurmountable. It felt so bad. And, it, it, you know, if you're going through a grieving process, I am with you. Believe me, I am with you. It is hard. And um, that could be... That could be what you're going through right now. These changes could involve a grieving process, okay? Um, there was a lot of fighting going on in my family at the time. And, you know, we were all processing that grief in our own way. We were looking for help in reconnecting and, and re you know, we needed to reconnect with ourselves after this loss because there was a severance and energy that we had gotten used to feeling, okay? How, how does that relate? Well, it was, it was an enormous amount of pain that we were having to process all at once. The change was painful to process all at once, but, but, the thing of it is that we did it, and here's how. This this journey, this healing process, you know, this understanding that we are changing is a journey. And it may take two steps, it may take 2,000 steps. 
whatever whatever distance you have to cross for however long you have to cross it it will happen change um there's there's two ways to go about change one it can happen rapidly one it can happen very slowly i i feel as again back to the example getting used to not having my mom around the grieving process was long for me and to some extent there is still that grief but now that i've had a long time to figure out and process it's now okay i'm um i'm still on that healing journey but i'm aware that it is now happening okay so like i said the the journey of change doesn't necessarily happen all at once okay now what does that mean for you it means you need to set some intentions for yourself okay what i what i'm noticing looking at the screen in this card is this little bird here you know you have you have the ability to incubate a lot okay and by incubate you have a lot of um you could be holding a lot of positivity you could be holding a lot of negativity um whatever this is you are trying to get this egg to hatch you can't just put it you can't just put it aside and say okay hatch how, how are you going to help it hatch what is what is your process okay making plans you know, it's in the context of that, of the change. You know, making plans can be kind of difficult when you don't know what's around the corner. But if you, if you intend to say, okay, I'm experiencing this change, I'm experiencing these feelings, this is how I'm going to process them. Okay, and especially if you're holding a lot of negativity, you have the option of letting that go. I'm reading this. Um, this flower yeah I, i'm gonna say this looks like a dandelion you have the ability to let the winds of change take that negativity with it okay remember that you're a journey you are on a journey okay whatever you're holding on to needs to be let go and part of i feel like being compelled to say that part of your intention might be that you need to let some of this go so you can allow the change to happen okay because otherwise you're stuck with this so and you know i'm, I'm hoping that makes sense um but let's see let's let's see what your tarot has to say um winds of change are coming how uh, how can you best set your intention to let all of this go we're going to get into um this is the simplified tarot by amanda hall again everything is going to be listed in the description so i'm not going to necessarily go through and name everything um but we're going to do our standard reading so i'm going to get three cards from the middle our hidden and clarifying energy and then we will go from there. So, ooh, okay. Okay, first card coming out, we have the Ace of Wands. There's a new opportunity here, especially where it comes to um, taking inspired action, taking, um, yeah, taking inspired action, especially where it comes to acting on your passions and what inspires you. I don't know if you can necessarily see that very well, but um, there's an offer to grow. There's there's genuinely an offer to grow here, and I think that is important that you pay attention to that because when you when you mire yourself in sadness and negativity you miss that opportunity because you're looking down you're not looking forward you're not looking up you're not looking in your periphery um you are yeah you, you, you have an opportunity here 
okay? And this is where you need to set your intentions because once you do that, you will see growth, okay? Remember the, the egg imagery here, okay? Some, something's hatching. Something's going to grow. I'm curious to see what that is. So let's move on from there. We also have, whoa, okay, we have too many cards. But um, this came out in reverse. This is three of swords in reverse. So like I said, something's in the breeze. Some painful, uh, some painful experience is now in the breeze. It's gone. It's, it's leaving. It's lightening up. It's ending. Oh, now that's the breeze. Now that breath is coming back to you. Also remember that dandelion imagery. You're finally breathing past this hurt. You're breathing past this hurt. And I think that that's important. That's important because growth. Growth is starting to happen. Okay. Okay, we also have, okay, we, had, we do have the Five of Cups coming back out because there's something you are leaving behind in doing this work. Remember, we talked about the Journey card in the Oracle. You're sad that you're leaving something behind, okay? And that's fair because it's a comfort. It's what you knew but it's not yours anymore. Remember, remember that this situation is finally lessening up, okay? And you don't have to, you don't have to hold on, okay? You don't have to hold on. Um, now you may be feeling a little bit of loss, but look, look at what's behind you, okay? You still have supplies to get to. It's not about how you fall, okay? not about how you fall, it's how you get back up. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. Let me shuffle again and we'll get our, um, get our hidden and clarifying energy. Okay, one more shuffle. Here we go. Okay. We also have the Nine of Cups. So by doing this work, you're going to get into some of the most peaceful, happy, just, I don't want to say empty, but spacious moments, you're going to have space to allow things to come in for you, allow the blessings you've wanted, the manifestations that you've been working on, the intention is going to pay all the way off. And yes, 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 you have it now. Might not feel like you do, you might still have to do some work, but you're close. You're close. Um, you're close. Okay, Nine of Cups. That's our hidden energy. Clarifying energy is the Two of Wands in reverse. So generally, I would I would tend to read this as you're you're blocking yourself from leaving the gates, but in the context of um, in the context of the reading that we have right now, I feel like saying you're close to entering a new gate. I'm going to put it like that. You're, you're entering into a new, uh, yeah, you're entering into a new phase. You're entering into a new phase. You, you've, yeah, okay. You're entering into a new phase, and I like seeing that because you have worked so hard, um, especially if you are working on um, living by your intentions of letting the negativity go, of allowing change and flow to happen, right? Um, I like that these cards are coming out in reverse because the heartache that you've ex been experiencing over the last couple of, of times here has finally gotten to a point where you can say I'm breathing I'm breathing I'm doing okay okay and um, 
I'm finding a new sense of normal. I'm finding a new sense of balance. Um, I'm finally in a place where I don't have to fight my own instincts as hard as I would have had I not um, had I not done the work. Okay. All right. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Let's clarify why we're seeing each of the cards right now. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I do have a bonus reading for you at the end. Yes, I think I did. Um, stay tuned if you want to see the cards from that. So, oops. okay. So first card as to why we are seeing the Ace of Wands, we have the three of wands which is interesting because this is um being in a state of active planning now remember i talked about growth opportunities um things to move yourself ahead here um this might not happen right away so you need to be in a place where you can plan your next moves because you are you are looking at um you're looking at a lot of change again and that's borne out by your oracle okay um with that change may need to uh, have some things be planned out in advance as much as you can don't overthink it but start putting putting aside resources whether that's mental financial um you know what that's going to look like for you um whether that's having uh, contingencies in, basically you want a contingency plan in place for when this growth starts happening because it may detour and that's okay remember that you're learning to accept change okay um again it's tough i get it but you have um you have some opportunities that you can you can plan for right yeah okay three of wands that's the hidden energy. The clarifying energy is uh, the three of swords upright. So this growth might not happen in the way that you're thinking, and it might be a little bit tough to handle, it might be causing a lot of conflict, a lot of internal stuff, but you, um, I feel compelled to say that you, you set the intention to do it. I would hope I would hope that you have enough um, enough men enough mental fortitude to accept the consequences of setting those intentions because every action has an equal equal reaction if not opposite reaction right you're you're it's there don't deny yourself the right that you feel um, that you feel what you do because it's important not to do that okay if you're if you're a little heart sore at making these changes that's okay that's totally okay just hang in there keep trying okay so there's the three of blades okay you know also what i want to note and i don't know um, if it's necessarily reading i think these flowers are black so even um and, and i understand that in certainly in color magic what you are looking at with the color black is protection safety now these emotions might not feel so safe but this is kind of kind of blowing that out kind of going outward from that there are there's a spiritual team and uh there's a spiritual team around you who, who want to keep you safe during this time okay so you know again address what's making you feel bad and know that you're not alone in doing that work okay so there is the three of swords three of blades okay to clarify the three of swords in reverse okay we have Okay, we have the Queen of Coins. So 
there's this is, could be potentially someone helping you through this this time in your life you know whether it's a therapist trusted friend person that you love dearly maybe a complete stranger i don't know you know what you you know what this is for you um but there is someone who deeply and genuinely cares about you and remember what i said about your spiritual team this could be um yeah this could be anybody anybody helping you through any entity or spirit helping you through um but this person tends to thrive and really love and enjoy being in the depth of their emotion um except that this is coin so they're also very grounded in their emotion they're also nurturing and once again once again allowing for your growth okay um yeah once again this person the, yeah allowing for your growth i you know initially i read this as the queen of cups and um once again the emotional aspect of this reading is coming out and and you know it's not that they're cold it's not that they're they are stubborn i'm an earth sign i can say that but they want for your growth they want you to bloom and to to reach towards your goals reach for the sun reach for that next um reach for your next i don't want to say reach for the next thing because it makes it seem like you have to have materials to be happy which isn't the case but they want you to reach for the things that are going to allow for your progress okay just yeah queen queen of coins queen of coins she's a good one to have i think okay so that's your uh, that's your hidden energy your clarifying energy is the nine of cups once again deep emotional well-being this is a repeat card repeat card um what i'm gonna do i'll have a, a quick little write-up of all the stats for this reading so if you guys want to see that i will have a link to my tumblr um specifically that post but there is a link to my main tumblr in the description so nine of cups beautiful peace happiness joy well-being um you have enough to be in a state of caring for others having deep emotional relationships with others while still being at peace yourself okay nine of cups good deal okay clarifying the five of cups we have okay we have the world something's in completion something's over with something is uh something needs to be moved on from okay and the more you mire yourself in the negativity remember the top of cups the less you're gonna see that you have a place to go okay time to let go of that negativity and move towards your castle you will grow into that space when you get there okay so that is the world is our hidden energy clarifying energy is the eight of swords this might be the source of, of your nervousness um this could definitely mean that there's something in your space that is deeply um deeply uncomfortable and holding you back once again we're back to that okay um because we have the the world card here it it's about damn time you shifted that perspective okay get away from the negativity acknowledge that it's there acknowledge that you're capable of feeling negativity move it out of the way and so you can get to your castle okay so there is the eight of swords eight of blades in this case okay nine of cups nine of cups here it is clarifying and hidden energies 
please. Our hidden energies, three of coins. So there will be people in your space that you might need to work with, um, especially when it comes to achieving a goal. Okay. Um, but once again, we talked about the, the safety and the sense of, of well-being and peace. You have you have enough to take care of yourself. Like I said, you have enough to take care of yourself. You have enough to take care of people, um, people that are outside of you. And um, it's hard. It's hard. But it's a hard balance to strike. But you've you've done it well enough that you can move forward with it. Okay. So there is the three of coins. Okay. And we also have the hanged man. Once again, we're looking at a transformation in energy. So I'm just, I'm, I'm sensing movement forward. I'm sensing movement away from what's kept you held back. Okay. I don't want you to be bothered by, oh, that's the hanged man. Again, going back to it, the change in perspective is what's what's making you uncomfortable here. Um, but the thing is, in some cases, I wonder if we're going to get it out in the other decks. So I'm not finished yet. Um, in some cases, the image of the hanged man is of someone who's hanging by their feet. They're strung up. They're they're possibly stuck, but they're kind of just like, oh, whoa, whoa, this is new, okay. And their crown, their crown, the top of their head is usually glowing. That's probably because their crown chakra is activated, possibly their third eye. Um, that could mean, um, obviously, that's a shift in perspective. And once again, there's a major shift happening here, okay. So that is the hanged man. Um, initially, I was reading this as the card for death. So that's where I was getting um, a, a change in energy. Certainly, that's happening here. So, um, yeah, certainly that's happening here. There is the hanged man. Okay. Now we have the two of wands in reverse. Remember that I uh, I read this as that we are coming to our castle. We're we're entering the gates. We have crossed the moat. Maybe we're home, but we need to do some growing in, right? So let's see uh, some hidden and clarifying energies. Okay. Quick shuffle here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we got our hidden and clarifying energy popping right off. We have the page of coins. So um, this is someone who's in a learning aspect. Again, again, we are growing into our space. We are growing into our sense of personhood, our sense of self-worth. We've lost what we needed to lose. Okay. Ouch. I don't know what to do with this. I'm in pain from this loss. I, I'm not sure how to fill this space. We're, we're, maybe we don't know that fact just yet. That's okay. That's fair. Again, we're only human. We don't have all the answers. We don't know what's happening down the line, but we do know that we now have space for new things to come in, for new um, new mindsets to happen, okay? Um, we're learning to grow into our sense of selfhood and our sense of self-worth. We have to grow into that, okay? And we're learning how to do that, right? That's our hidden energy. Our clarifying energy is that that part is going to take work. Okay, and that might mean cutting people off that don't serve you. That might mean getting rid of social media accounts that are that are toxic to you. That could mean that could mean anything. And I'm only speaking from from my own perspective. So if you have anything 
you want to share with me in the comments, please do. Please keep it civil. Um, but also know that with diligent effort and uh, a little bit of time, you'll come to an understanding of, of who you are and how you are. Okay? So there's the Eight of Coins. Okay, so the next couple of uh, the next couple of cards I'm pulling out from other decks here are going to be for you specifically. Um, we have your situation, um, and just to summarize here, there is a lot of change, a lot of stress, a lot of hurt that's been happening, but I I do see it going away and lightening up. Um, but there's some some potential issues around um, you rediscovering yourself that you might need to um, put some work towards really getting into it, okay? So we're gonna have a water break. Cheers, friend. I hope you're okay. Okay, um, let's see, how, how are you guys doing? Okay, given your situation of change, um, yeah, given the situation of change, let's see how you're doing. Okay. All right, so first card out, we have the Three of Cups. So, Three of Cups, there's a celebration going on. Because I feel like given that you're now starting to realize your self-worth, you're starting to um, to bring your tribe together. I just, I, and I say that and I'm thinking of my best friends from high school, okay? Um, yeah, there's, your tribe is coming together. You finally know what you want in your space and who you want who you want to bring in around you, okay? Your tribe's coming together, okay? Okay, you also have the Eight of Earth, okay? Once again, we're tapping back into um, that hard work, that diligence. Your roots are finally blooming. Um, you're not quite done tending the fields just yet, but you're starting to see results, okay? And I, th I think that's borne out by um, Three of Cups here as well, okay? And we also have the Three of Fire, the Three of Wands. So once again, um, once again, there is some, some planning still to be done, but you have made a really good effort to get that party started. I say party, but to, to get things in motion here, okay? Um, and that's good, that's really, really good, given that you have your tribe around you, you have your support system, um, your work is finally starting to see results, the effort is finally starting to see, um, it's finally starting to see the sun. Oh. I love, I love that. I love that image. Okay. And then clarifying energies, please. Okay. Cut that real quick here. Okay. Ace of Earth. There are new opportunities coming in all the time. New ways of growth. New, um, yeah, new things are coming in. A lot of new things are coming in for you, and it's beautiful. It's going to have beautiful results. Maybe some of the seeds don't bloom the way you think they will. Maybe they don't bloom at all. Maybe they bloom really quick. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking immediately my dad was planting, like, fruit trees and pomegranates, and, and we had a broccoli plant for a couple, couple years that really didn't go to seed, neither did some of the fruit trees, but that's okay because he kept getting out there and enjoying the enjoying the work. The only thing that's actually really survived well is our orange tree. It's a little bit munted right now, 
just because the heat. But my point in bringing all of that up is that the seeds you're planting have had results. Some of them are going to be successful. Some of them are going to fall flat. That's okay. Don't don't beat yourself up for that because you've worked hard to get here in the first place and you need to give yourself some credit for that. Okay. So there's the ace of earth, the ace of coins. Okay. Um oh, so much so much growth. I love this. I love this. Okay. Hidden energy is our ace of earth. Our clarifying energy is the ace of air. <laughs> so, cool. So you've, through all of this work, you've had a shift in perspective. And now, um, now there's space for, there's space for new opportunities, new mental pursuits, new um, intellectual mental and intellectual pursuits to happen for you. This is so cool, okay? Because you have to understand that change, it sucks, but it, clearly in this case, it's beneficial because you have a new opportunity to think differently about what you've been through. You have a new opportunity to bring in what you've learned about yourself and integrate it with what you already know. Okay, you know, I, I say that and I had, um, I was thinking this morning about how, um, how different I was in high school versus college versus now. Um, I was a weird kid, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm the weird kid, okay? I was the bullied kid, and it made me very quiet, very shy, kind of unable to reach out and, and really, truly be myself. I was 15, of course, you know, because I bring up the example of my, my mom dying. That happened when I was 15, okay? I couldn't be myself because I was so mired in, in stress and um, just everything all at once, right? Um, now at 15 some odd years later, probably closer to 18 or 20 now, um, I, I'm a different person than I used to be. And that's a good thing because I've processed, I've done the work for the most part to get myself to this point here. And whatever it is you're experiencing or going through, I hope that you get your ace of swords moment it, it'll happen for you when it's meant to okay um it'll happen for you when it's meant to but there's some clarity here the clouds are finally clearing and you can see and feel and think about things in a different way so i hope that makes sense there is our <laughs> clarifying energy okay Let's move on and we shall see what else we can do to help, okay? Okay. Moving on here, okay? First card, we have the Knight of Cups. So there's some emotional generosity now happening in this situation. You're able to be open and give, um, but you're also able to take action on um, clearing out some of the more negative things that you've been feeling. And once again, I'm hearing inspired action. So you're finally able to take care of you're able to take care of yourself in a way that is acknowledging what you're feeling, hopefully thinking as well, and um, putting it to, yeah, putting it to a place where it can be seen, felt, accepted, and moved on from. Okay, so there's the Knight of Cups. 
We also have, oh yes, Ten of Cups, finally. We have, uh, we have worked hard to get to the Ten of Cups, but now you're finally seeing the, the emotion that you've been feeling. Remember, we have the Nine of Cups here in that sense of, of deep well-being. You can now finally take care of your home and your family. Other people might be relying on you, but you have, um, you have the ability to take care of them emotionally as well. Okay. And maybe, maybe you don't have a family or you're, you're just sort of doing this by yourself. You're finally able to, oh, you're finally able to give yourself the space to celebrate and to be happy and to just revel in it. Okay. There's a lot of light. Um, I'm looking at the rainbow, I'm looking at the plants, and the clouds are off in one corner over here. You've done the work. You've done the work, and you should be feeling really, really proud of yourself. Okay. So there's the Ten of Cups. Okay. We also have the Knight of Swords. Again, taking inspired action this time on your thoughts, on how you're thinking, what, how you're thinking and how it's making you feel, okay? Cool, okay. So, really quick. Okay, mm-hmm. We have the King of Swords as our hidden energy. So there's some, some authority over your thoughts. You know what you're thinking, you know how to process them without necessarily overthinking or um, kind of getting stuck in that cycle of ruminating on them. Um, you're, you're there. That shift, that shift in mindset has happened and you understand, again, what you're thinking and how, how it's making you feel. So that's the hidden energy, okay? We also have ooh, the Ace of Cups. Again, new new opportunities to grow and to, yeah, new opportunities to grow. Okay. New opportunities to grow are coming in because you know what you're thinking. You know how to act on them, on those thoughts. You know how to take on, I don't, I'm getting tongue-tied because there's a lot of emotion. Okay, we have that with the cups. And I like that um, we get the 10 and the ace here as well because there's a cycle, an emotional cycle that's completing. And you should be proud of yourself for getting through that cycle because you have something new to start. Okay. But you also know, it's also meant to hold up the Knight of Cups as well. Again, you take an action to complete this cycle. We get the Knight in there. Okay, and you've also, you've also kind of tamed your thoughts. I say kind of because, again, it's, it's nothing about this is static, okay? Okay, so let's move on to the final deck here, and we'll get into the bonus reading really quickly and see what that has to say for you. So finally, how, yeah, how else can, uh, what else do we need to know? How else can I help you today? Okay. All right, one. Okay, King of Pentacles, you also, you've, you've come into your self-worth. You've grown into your callous. Callous castle is what I meant to say. You you you've grown into your palace, your castle. You know what you have. You you know what you have. You know what you have. King of Pentacles. Booyah. Fun fact: I'm a '90s kid, so if I start quoting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 
my bad question mark <laughs> moving on you also have the lovers so with that self-worth um you have some choices to make and I'm going to be a nerd and quote Spider-Man here with great power comes great responsibility. And you have some choices to make about how you administer that. And once again, um, you have the three of pentacles coming out as well. So you, um, you have people to help you. You have people who really want for your success. You have people who want for your success, so so don't don't um don't forget them. Don't forget yourself. I think you'll be okay. All right. Um, <laughs> hidden and clarifying energies, please. Okay. One more. Okay, we have the magician. Yes. Uh, uh, we have the magician. Now, if you weren't feeling capable before, you sure as hell need to be feeling capable now. Because you have you have the king of pentacles. You know what you're worth. You know what you're about. And you know how to use it. Okay? You know how to use it to make your decisions. Okay? And you know how... Uh, how best to balance out, um, yeah, how best to balance things when things get tough, okay? There's your magic. You're making things happen. You're making things happen. So, yeah, there's the magician. That's our hidden energy. For a final clarifier, um, we have the empress in reverse. You've done the reflecting. You've done enough work. Time to take action. Okay, time to take action. Don't forget to take some time to do the work of the Empress, which, um, you know, you'll, you'll gain wisdom and um, you'll gain wisdom and experience through doing this reflection. But don't forget to come out of that state and actually do it. Okay, actually put what you've learned to work. Okay, so that is it for the main tarot reading. Let me get into the bonus reading really quickly. Um, this is for those of you that skipped all the way over and just want to see something real quick. So um, to start, we have uh, my capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I am lost. Okay. I have one ring circus. I have sisterhood of the rose, um, beauty, devotion, priestess, mystic, or teacher. I also have door to personal healing and happiness. And I have Jade, um, be the bigger person. So what I'm sensing from this here is that there's been a situation possibly in your space that has given you some some kind of pause. Um, someone's hurt you. Someone's kind of tried to hold you back from really stepping into your own. And you've had to wrestle with those things. You've really had to come. You've really had to come to some conclusions. Okay. Um, this could be that you're escaping a boundary and it could be because i'm thinking the three ring circus there's certain parts that people are performing it and it's time to be like i'm done being in the back i'm done being off to the side i want to be front and center i gotta step out and i understand that um I understand that there are certain requirements and things that you would have me do, but it's not serving right now. It's not serving right now. I need to step out of the tent. I need to get out of this ring, out of this cycle, and move myself forward. Okay. Now, I, I'm also sensing um, that you haven't done this alone by the fact that you have the Sisterhood of the Rose card here. 
Um, there could be a mentor or someone that you're, um, someone that you've reached out to to do, uh, to help you on this work. Okay. And um, doing this work has led you to understanding your place and what you need to be happy in this situation. But it's also showing you where um, you could potentially have started to light a match on a bridge and being like, you know what, I don't need to be petty. I don't need to be angry. I just need to put up a boundary and say, if this bothers you, I'm sorry, but this is this is the line I'm not going past. Okay. And that's, um, that's where um, being called to be the bigger person comes in handy. Okay. Because ultimately, um, you're fighting for your own happiness. And you can open the doors to find what this happiness looks like. Okay. So for your tarot, we are going to look at, um, oh my God, the Ten of Cups. This has come out in the main reading. If, if you have watched it up to this point, this came out in the main reading. There's so much peace on the other side of those doors. So much happiness, so much light. Look at look at the celebration that you need to have right now. Because, oh, look at this. We've done all this. I am so happy to see this rainbow in the sky right now. This is what you stand to gain when you put the boundary up and say, I'm getting out of the ring. I'm going up through those open doors. They're open. I'm going over here. Stop me if you will. I don't blame you, but let me go, right? There's a Ten of Cups, okay? You also have the Ace of Wands. This, this is another repeat card, okay? Um, repeat from the main reading here. But so much growth is happening. So much growth is happening, and I'm giddy for you, clearly, okay? I'm so giddy for you guys because you've earned it. You planted your seeds and there will be growth. There will be growth because damn it, you have the cups to water it all, okay? Keep keep in mind you can't pour from an empty cup, so don't be afraid to take care of yourself either, okay? Eight of water, eight of cups. Yeah, um, there could be some disappointments in your space as per usual. But that isn't the important factor here. You know what? It, because I'm seeing that the field you left, the field you went through the open doors to leave behind, didn't grow the way you wanted it to. There's a field. There's a new field on the other side of those doors. And it's waiting for you to water it and see what happens. Okay? That soil might be much richer that sunshine might be so much brighter and no you won't know until you try but remember that happiness is where you make it it's not in what somebody else has it's not in jealousy or pettiness it's not lighting the match and burning the bridge it's taking that lighter and walking away from that bridge and saying you know what i'm not going to cross it my boundary is here no, I'm going over here and I'm finding something else. Okay. So there's the aid of water. Okay. We also have the emperor. You have the authority over this situation because you know who you are. You know who you are. Okay. You're finally putting that. You, you're finally putting your foot down and saying, I am me. You can be chaotic and weird over here. I'm going to take my chaos, my mental state. I'm going to figure out how to put it in order so I can actually do the work of watering my new field. Okay. There's the emperor. And finally, we have the queen of cups. So there's a deeply passionate and emotional person in you. And you're finally letting that show. Because whereas this, um, 
the the mm. my my impulse is to say you've had this uh, this aspect of yourself put down and and really hidden away, but the problem is that the Queen of Cups thrives on emotion. They thrive on on deep passionate emotional connections. Okay, and you're finally finding people people who want that with you and therefore that they're becoming your tribe but you're also bringing in things that give you happiness yes okay all right so that is that is the bonus reading for the moon reading thank you guys for sticking around if you've made it this far in i love you guys I will see you in the next one, but if you guys, again, like what you say in the video, like what you saw up till now, the like, subscribe, bell buttons, all of those are waiting for you to click them if you want to, get in touch with me, um, all my links are in the description, you know where to look. This reading was so cool, I'm glad I got to give it to you guys, and I'm looking forward to the next one, so come on back next week, and hopefully... We will have a new message for you then. I will see you guys later. Stay safe. You are loved. I love you guys. See you later.